Hello everyone. God bless you. Hope you're doing well today. Um, welcome to another uh, time around God's Word, a time of devotional. Um, I hope that you take time to uh, go out outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. Um, I know that I'm going to. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go with the family over to um, take a walk on the boardwalk here at Ocean Beach, so I'm looking forward to that. But we're gathered here today for another, uh, another devotional, another uh, opportunity to uh, come, come together and get into God's Word. I pray that you were blessed yesterday by yesterday's Word. Uh, please continue to share that if you uh, were blessed by it. Today I want to uh, continue in the book of Psalm. Um, in the Psalms, and uh, the, the, the topic for today that I um, want to uh, spend time around is uh, praise the Lord, the phrase praise the Lord. One of the things that I find uh, interesting is how the scriptures are filled with um, th this command that we are to praise the Lord. And uh, oftentimes when we're going through difficulty, hardship, uh, it's hard to praise the Lord. But Nevertheless, we are commanded, in fact, I, 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 it's a demand, we're demanded, God demands us to praise Him. And uh, what I hope to do is, as we go through this devotional, is look at different scriptures and, and, and come to a place of understanding why we're to praise the Lord at all times. Amen? Let us open up with a word of prayer and then we'll get right into our lesson today. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for all that you provide for us. We thank you, Lord, that um, uh, there's enough reasons for us to praise you, enough reasons for us to extol your name, Father God. And so we just thank you for that, Lord. Lord, may uh, we be encouraged and may we be uh, edified, Father God, as we look into your word. And may we, uh, after uh, this lesson, Father God, that we may uh, live our day, the rest of this day out in the days to come, Father God, looking for opportunities to praise your name. Thank you, Lord, for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today we're going to be looking at Psalm 106, verses 1 and 2. And then as I was preparing to come on uh, today, I was thinking about Psalm 150. And so we'll go ahead and read uh, Psalm 106, 1 through 2. And then uh, we'll go ahead and look at Psalm 150. I'm going to be reading out of, uh, well, most of the uh, scriptures that we will look at today are out of the ESV version, uh, the English Standard Version. Um, but uh, Psalm 150, I'm going to be reading it out of the NIV. Um, so why don't you go there uh, with me um, as we... Um, go to the scriptures. So it's going to be Psalm 106, 1 and 2, and uh, I will bring it up on the screen for you. And it reads like this. It says, Praise the Lord. O give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty deeds of the Lord or declare all His praises? I put in parentheses here, um, where in, in verse 2 it says, Who can utter the mighty deeds of the Lord? Another translation says, The glorious miracles of the Lord, or declare all His praise. In other words, who can ever praise Him enough? And so, uh, it is to say that we uh, cannot praise the Lord enough. It's never enough. We have plenty to praise the Lord for. So if you go with me to Psalm 150, Psalm 150, um, and it reads uh, like this, Praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty heavens, praise Him for His acts of power, praise Him for the surpassing greatness, for His surpassing greatness, praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet, praise Him with the harp and lyre, praise Him with the timbrel and dancing, praise Him with the strings and pipe. Praise Him with the clash of cymbals. Praise Him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I'm going to read verse uh, 6 one more time. It says, Let everything, everything 
that has breath, praise the Lord. And then the psalmist finishes by once again exclaiming, praise the Lord. Amen. We should praise the Lord because we get to praise the Lord. And so we praise the Lord continually and daily. Amen. Praise God for that. Like I said, um, there's uh, many scriptures or, or Bible verses that uh, call us to praise the Lord. Let me share a few with you from the Old Testament, and then I'll share um, a few from the New Testament. In the Old, in the Old Testament, Psalm 9-1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. With my whole heart. I will recount all your wonderful deeds. Then Psalm 34-1 uh, the psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Then Psalm 71, 8, it says, My mouth is filled with your praise and with your heart and with your glory all the day. Again, my mouth is filled with your praise and with, and with your glory all the day. In other words, here the psalmist is saying that his mouth is filled with making much praising, uh, giving value and worth to the Lord. And then he says, and with your glory all the day long. In other words, I'm making your name famous. I'm making you famous by praising your name. I am glorifying you all the day. And then Psalm 105, 1, he says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Psalm 150, uh, verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we praise the Lord because we get to praise the Lord. Amen. So we praise the Lord. And after we have praised the Lord, we praise the Lord for the opportunity to praise the Lord. Amen. Then, then in the uh, New Testament, Acts 2, 46, um, it reads, and day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number, by, uh, their number day by day those who were being saved. Then Ephesians 5 uh, verse 20 says, Giving thanks always and for everything, to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. Rejoice always. This is a very familiar uh, a scripture. Rejoice always. In other words, rejoice continually. Pray without ceasing. Do not stop praying. I often hear people say that doesn't mean that, um, that you stop everything that you have to do in order uh, to pray. And there's some truth in that. Uh, but there's no reason why we can't be in an attitude or in a, having a mindset of prayer. I posted just the other day uh, that uh, my wife uh, told me uh, in the morning uh, yesterday that, um, that I was uh, praising God in my sleep. Uh, she says that I was shouting, Jesus, Jesus, and then uh, exclaiming, uh, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, now, I don't know the details, but I know that I was dreaming about the church. I was dreaming that uh, there was an attack that was coming upon the church, and so um, I was uh, uh, rebuking whatever uh, it was that was attacking the church by uh, calling on the name of the Lord Jesus and then saying hallelujah because I saw uh, deliverance uh, taking place of whatever attack those, I saw the Lord was delivering the church from that attack. I don't have any details. I don't know if it's prophetic. I, I have no idea. I'm not a prophet, nor do I claim to be the son of a prophet. Uh, I, all I wanted to share was that I, uh, my spirit was praying for the church. My spirit was alert. And so um, I thank God for that. I also thank, that my, thank the Lord for my wife who uh, reminded me of that, and uh, she found she, she was filled with great joy in knowing that even in my sleep, um, the Lord, um, I was still praising the Lord. Amen. So, um, the, the scriptures, uh, the, the Word of God is filled with uh, uh, hundreds of verses commanding us to praise uh, the Lord. 
and you know I've only shared uh, so, uh, shared some of them with you, uh, but we need to understand that that the Bible is or the Word of God is not suggesting to us that we praise the Lord. It's not uh, giving us uh, a suggestion as 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 we would say, "Hey, I would advise you to do this." No, it's commanding us that we are to praise the Lord. And so, why would God demand? Why would God command that we praise uh, His name? Why would He uh, uh, go and, and, and make sure that we understand that we're to praise Him at all times? Before I answer that, I, I do want to remind us that um, it, when Jesus enters into Jerusalem uh, it, dur during the Passover, or as He prepares for the Passover, as we remember, as He's going into Jerusalem, uh, the, the, the crowd started to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna. They were praising uh, the name of the Lord. And the religious leaders, they told Jesus to command uh, His disciples to stop praising Him, to stop shouting. And, and Jesus answered them by saying, listen, if I ask them to stop, if I tell them to stop, the, the rocks will cry out. In other words, what Jesus is saying is, listen, uh, whether you uh, uh, shout and, and, and praise my name and, uh, or, or, or some, somebody's going to have to praise my name. Why? Because uh, my mighty works, uh, w who I am, my, my, my attributes, my character that I have shown the world, all of, all of creation, everything I've created has no choice but to praise my name. Amen. So, so we need to understand that everything God has created Everything, as it says in Psalm 150, says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Now, that's not just uh, confined to human beings, but also to all of creation that has life in it. Uh, I'm often reminded uh, when I come here on Sunday mornings uh, uh, in front of the, the, the sanctuary, in one, in one of the windows, there's a, a bird's nest. And when we come in in the morning, the birds are there singing away, just praising the Lord, uh, fulfilling that command that let everything that, that, that has breath praise the Lord. And so I, I find it uh, interesting and, and it brings great joy to my heart. So let's look at the, the question, why does God or why, why would He command uh, praise? Well, to understand the importance of, of our praise, we must uh, first understand that the Jews what the Jews thought about praise. What they thought about praise is that in, in terms of, of sacrifices at the, at the uh, temple in Leviticus 7, uh, which goes into detail and in instructions for an offering known as the praise offering. Uh, praise was, was an offering given uh, to, to thank uh, the Lord. It was brought and given to the priests uh, for the purpose of showing uh, gratitude uh, to the Lord, and they and it was uh, 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 an offering to thank God for His great blessings upon His people. It was an expression of faith. It was an expression of love and thanksgiving. It offered uh, it, it offered the the one giving the offering uh, the opportunity to worship the Lord and to rejoice uh, with the priests uh, of of God. And so here were the people bringing these sacrifices of praise, bringing these, uh, these peace offerings, if you will. Um, and, and as they brought this to the Lord, they were participating. They were rejoicing with the priests uh, uh, as they worshipped uh, the Lord. It was a shared offering with a portion being burnt on the altar and a portion being given to the priests. It was a free will peace offering. It was always given out of a heart filled with gratitude, a heart of, of thanksgiving, a heart overflowing with thanksgiving and love for the Lord. And, and, and so today, yes, we no longer bring sacrifices uh, to a temple or to a priest uh, for uh, the Lord Jesus Christ Himself is our great high priest. However, uh, we are required to still observe uh, the Levitical offerings, but we still have an obligation. We, we, uh, 
the obligation that we have is not to fulfill it in a physical sense, but through our worship, through our praising the Lord for His goodness. Amen? So we are no longer required to observe the, Le- the, the uh, Levitical offerings in the physical sense, but in the spiritual sense, uh, we are to continue. Amen? And so we, we understand that there is no longer animal sacrifices. So we don't bring animal sacrifices, but now we offer sacrifices of praise from our lips. I love uh, how the book of uh, Hebrews refers to our praise as the calves of our lips. In other words, our lips now have become uh, the, the sacrifice. Uh, Hebrews 13, 15. Though Jesus uh, himself... Uh, Uh, became our high priest, and he became that sacrificial lamb. Now we praise the Lord uh, continually, offering uh, God a sacrifice of praise that comes out of our hearts and is formed in our lips, and we then say, praise the Lord for all that you have done for us. Amen? So the psalmist says, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He says, he says, praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. And then verse 2, he says, Who can utter the mighty deeds of the Lord? In other words, the glorious miracles of the Lord are so great and so vast that um, it, it would take a lifetime, all of eternity in fact, for us to praise Him, uh, to, to show Him gratitude, and to say, Thank you, Lord, for all that you have offered to us. It, 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 I mean, we, we are to declare all, all His praise. Amen? In other words, who can ever praise Him enough for all that He has done? There is no one. There is no one. We are to continue to praise Him continually. I'm, 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 I'm reminded of, of when I was... Uh, working at a car dealership, and um, and, and I would be uh, alone, uh, given a task to do uh, alone, and I, there I would be uh, mindful of the Lord and mindful of the things that He had done for me, thanking Him for the job that I had, thanking Him for the uh, uh, the ability that He had given me to be able to perform my job, and so I that that would turn to a a. A, a praise unto the Lord. And, and so um, no matter where we find ourselves, no matter what we're doing, there's always reason to uh, praise the Lord. So uh, let's continue here. So, so the psalmist says, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The word praise refers to a price or the value of something. So we praise the Lord and uh, our praise to the Lord uh, is, uh, will will give or, or, or show how much He's worth to us. In other words, your praise says a lot about how much you worth or, or how much you value uh, the Lord. If you esteem Him as valuable, you will find ways to render uh, praises to His name. If you render Him as valuable, if you, uh, uh, I mean, if you esteem Him as uh, valuable, if you esteem him as worthy of all praise, you will find ways uh, to give him that praise. We're commanded uh, to praise him now and forever. So not just now while we're here, but always and forever. We must fix our hearts upon him. We must fix our hearts upon him. Look what Psalm 57, uh, 7 says, My heart, O Lord, O Lord God, is steadfast. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. In other words, the psalmist here is saying is, My heart, O Lord, is, 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 is still. It will remain. My heart will remain in doing what? In, making, in singing and making music unto you. So, it is understanding that we are to be in a, uh, uh, in, in a uh, place of perpetual praise unto the Lord. So what, what, what motivates us to praise Him? Well, there's many things, but here's, uh, uh, let me give you a few. Our hearts must be steadfast, number one, as we just said. Number two, uh, meditating on His works and His ways. When we meditate on God's works and when we meditate on His ways, when we meditate on the things that He does and why He does it, 
You see, because of things that God has done for us, all of the good things that we enjoy that the Lord has given to us uh, comes out of who He is in, 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 uh, in His ways. Everything that we enjoy uh, that the Lord has given to us, we enjoy it and it comes from who He is, from His character. Amen? And so we're to recount His benefit. Uh, recount His benefits. Think about the Lord. Uh, we're to constantly tell our soul to consider, to meditate upon the benefits of the Lord. Amen? We have so many benefits in the Lord Jesus Christ. And oftentimes, we take them for granted. And as we meditate on, on these uh, uh, benefits, as we count our blessings, um, we will, uh, it will cause our hearts to begin to bubble up with praise and bring and render uh, praises to the Lord. We're to dwell upon His unspeakable gift. What is His unspeakable gift? His unspeakable gift is that, uh, that, that while we were yet sinners, Christ, G God Himself demonstrates His love for us, that while we were yet sinners, uh, Christ dies for us, that He has made us alive in Christ Jesus, that He has given us every spiritual uh, blessing in the Lord Christ Jesus. And so we dwell upon His unspeakable gift or gifts, or, and I would say gift um, as, as singular because everything is wrapped up in that one gift who is the Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us His Son. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Amen? So how do we praise the Lord? How should we praise the Lord? So what we, we have reasons and, and things that motivate us to praise Him, but now that we're motivated to praise Him, how do we praise the Lord? How shall we go about praising the Lord? Well, uh, Psalm 47 1 says that we are to shout His praise. We, it says, with shouts of praise. Amen? And so then, uh, with, with the lifting of hands, uh, Psalm 63 uh, 4 says that we are to lift up our hands and praise Him with our hands. Amen? Psalm 1 uh, 35, 3, and Psalm 47, 6 through 7. Uh, how do we praise the Lord? With singing. When we come together as a body, we, uh, as a congregation, we sing praises unto the Lord. We make much of Him. We make His name known in the, in, in the midst of the congregation. We uh, sing hymns and we share His goodness uh, with others and we uh, uh, encourage others to continue uh, in, in, in their walk with the Lord, not to look at their trouble, but to look at the goodness of God in the midst of their troubles. And so in doing that, what we're doing is that we are, uh, we are uh, praising the Lord. We're to do it with our whole heart. We should do it wholeheartedly. It should not be uh, a casual thing. It should be a thing that we do intentional, that we prepare our hearts, prepare our minds, prepare our attitudes, and, and prepare our, uh, our whole being. The, every fiber of our being is prepared and is intentional in the praising of the Lord. When do we praise the Lord? When do we praise the Lord? Well, we've already covered that. We said at all times, right? Psalm 34, 1 says, I will extol or I will praise the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. You know, oftentimes, uh, like I said in the beginning of the broadcast, it's easy to uh, praise the Lord when things are going well. Oftentimes we hear people say, praise the Lord when, when they receive good news or, or something uh, exciting happened in their lives or, or something uh, was fulfilled in their lives that they had been praying for, they've been asking the Lord to do in their lives. But here the psalmist says that, uh, he says, I will extol or I will praise the Lord at all times. In other words, it doesn't matter if my prayer has, has been answered or not. It doesn't matter if my, if my circumstance has changed or not. It doesn't matter how and where I may find myself. I will extol, uh, uh, I will extol praise. I will, uh, uh, the, I will extol the Lord. I will praise the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. We praise Him from sunrise to sunset, Psalm 113.3. We praise Him from sunrise to sunset. We need to keep in mind that the sun is always shining somewhere. Amen? 
the sun uh, may set here, but it's it's, it, it's, it's rising somewhere. There's a sunrise somewhere else. And so this gives us reason for us to praise the Lord. We praise the Lord because He has given us a beautiful day with sunlight. We saw the sun rise and then we see the sun set, giving us the promise that tomorrow the sun will rise again. Amen? And so where do we praise the Lord? Well, we praise Him in the midst of the congregation as we just finished saying. We praise Him in the midst of the congregation. We praise Him in the midst of the congregation because as we praise the Lord, there may be someone in the midst of the congregation who maybe is having a a, a difficult uh, 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 season in their lives, and by us praising the Lord and speaking of His goodness and speaking of His character and glorifying the name of the Lord, we may encourage that person who is going through a difficult season in their lives. And so we are to praise Him in the midst of the congregation. We're to also praise Him before the world, no matter where we may be. We're to praise the Lord wherever we find ourselves. Amen. We're not to be ashamed of the name of the Lord. We're not to be ashamed of Him. Why? Because He has done great things for us. He is faithful and He is true. He will always fulfill what He says He will fulfill. Amen. And so another place that... Uh, where we uh, praise Him is we praise Him in private, in that t- private place, when we're by ourselves, when we're in our prayer closets and we're going before the Lord, when we're petitioning the Lord, we remind Him of His goodness. We remind Him that we are aware, that we are conscious and mindful of the goodness of the Lord. And so we pray and we say, Lord, I just thank you. I praise your name for all that you have done for me. I thank you, Lord, for every circumstance and in every circumstance. I thank you and I praise you and I make much of you for you deserve more praise than I can ever, uh, 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 that I can, that I will ever be able to give to you. You deserve all the praise, the praises that I give you now, and the praises that I'll give you uh, later, and the praises that I'll give you tomorrow, and the praises that I will continue to give you even as I enter eternity. And so again, the Word of God is filled with thousands of verses uh, calling us to praise the Lord. These are just a few verses that I have uh, shared with you, and they merely uh, scratch the surface of what we are commanded to do when it comes to praising the Lord. When we consider His works and His ways, when we recount His benefits and His unspeakable gift of salvation, we will find that we are behind in our praises. I, I was thinking about this this morning. I was thinking, you know, when I think about all that God has done and, and how good He's been, man, I'm behind on my praises. I need to catch up. I need to get, I, I need to, get, get to it. I need to start praising Him more and more. And so I encourage you to praise Him more and more. We are way behind when it comes to offering praises to the Lord. We are commanded to praise Him and we should get it get it in. We should uh, start praising Him. We need, to, we need to praise Him. Now, you may say, well, I, you know, Jesse, I, I, I would love to praise the Lord, but I, I just, I, I, to be honest with you, I, I really don't have a, a reason to praise Him. Uh, you don't know how, how difficult my life has been. Well, let me remind you of seven things, seven reasons why you should be uh, praising the Lord. Number one, He hears and answers our prayers. He hears and answers our prayers. The Word of God says that He's attentive to the prayers of His people. He's, he inclines His ear. In other words, if I can paint a picture for you, the Lord, when you pray to the Lord, when you come before the Lord, the Lord actually, uh, he actually bends down to hear. He's attentive. He, it's intentional. It's not that he, we're just praying and, 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 and these prayers are just going up in the air and we, we have a hope that, that he, it, would, it, would, it will get his attention. No, as we pray, he hears us. He hears us and he answers our prayers. So that's reason to praise the Lord. Amen? Number two, I, um, we're to be reminded that God has paid our sin debt. He paid for our sins. He sent His Son to Calvary. Jesus 
died on the cross. He shed His blood. He washed us of our sins. We are as white as snow before Him. Amen? We have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So, we praise Him for what He's done for us in Christ Jesus. Number three, God wants to spend time with me. Wow, God wants to spend time with you. That's reason to praise Him. That's reason to say to the world and to say uh, er everywhere you may go and in and, 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 and every time that you think of it that the Lord wants to be with us. The Lord wants to dwell among His people. It says that He does what? He inhabits the praises of His people. And so the Lord inhabits, He lives there where people praise Him and make much of Him. Number four, God has proven to be our hope. Over and over again, God has proven to be our hope. We, we, have, this, we have this anchor, uh, we have this hope as an anchor for our soul. Amen? Firm and secure. The Lord is our hope. And so He has proven to be our hope. He has proven to be our hope in difficult times. He has proven to be our hope whenever we go through those seasons of difficulty. And so we praise Him for that. Number five, God controls the power of the earth. There's nothing on this earth that will take place without God ordaining it or preordaining it. God orders all things to take place according to His purposes. Praise God. And so we're to praise God for that. We're to understand that God is sovereign, that God is in control, that no matter uh, how things may look uh, to us right now, no matter how difficult life may get, no matter how uh, difficult uh, or, or how long we will be in isolation, we praise Him. Why? Because we know that He is in control and that He holds all things together by the power of of His Word. And number six, God makes the earth provide for us. God makes the earth provide for us. This morning, I'm sure that you sat down and you uh, ate breakfast, those of us who eat breakfast. I know I ate a breakfast. I eat breakfast every morning. And every morning I sit at the table and I look at my plate and I look at uh, the eggs and I look at the bread and I look at the coffee and I look at all the all of the items on my plate and around my plate, I praise the Lord. Why? Because all that I have before me was provided by the Lord. It was provided by the Lord. He has provided everything. He's provided the chicken to lay the egg. He's provided the wheat to make the bread. He's provided uh, the coffee grains to make the coffee. He's provided the, the orange to make the orange juice. He has provided for us. Amen? He has provided for us. Number seven, God is our source of joy. And so we don't run to things. We don't run to the things of this world to find joy, but we run to Him. Amen? And, 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 and we, we're to be reminded that we praise Him. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. So we're strengthened by His joy. So therefore, we give Him praise for his joy. Amen. And lastly, um, I, I want to say that the main reason I gave you these seven, but the main reason that we praise the Lord, the main reason we ought to praise the Lord is because he deserves it. It's because he demands it and it's because he commanded it. Amen. And so together, I want to uh, uh, say in the name of Jesus right now, let everything that has breath praise God the Lord. Amen. I pray that this uh, devotion has, devotional has uh, encouraged you. Uh, I, I pray that it has caused uh, praises to bubble up inside your heart and cause you to worship the Lord right there where you are, uh, may find yourself. Um, know that the Lord is for you. The Lord is, is, is working on your behalf. The Lord has heard your prayers. And so we are to praise Him for all of those reasons. Amen. Well, this concludes our time together, and uh, once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to ask you to go ahead and share uh, this uh, uh, live stream with your friends and family. Uh, if it's blessed you, I'm, I'm sure that it'll bless them, not because of me, but because of the words that were spoken, words that came right out of God's Word. Amen? These words will not disappoint. His his, his word does not disappoint, but His word does bring life and brings hope to every heart that would uh, be inclined to hearing 
what the Lord has to say. Amen? Well, I pray that you enjoy the rest of your day. The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you. God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.